Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I am here today with the generous help of the Beretta Company. I'm taking a look at some of the guns that are in their reference collection, and one that they have that I'm not sure if they did this conversion or if someone else did, and they simply ended up with it in their collection, but this is an Austrian Steyr M95 straight pole rifle that has been converted into a semi-automatic rifle. Now in theory, this sort of conversion would be really simple on a straight pull rifle because the bolt already is set up so that all you need to do is pull it straight back and push it forward in order to cycle it. Well, that's an easy conversion to add a gas piston to and have the gas tapped off the barrel do that job for you. Much more difficult on a turn bolt rifle where you have to add some sort of camming mechanism to lever the bolt up and then push it down. That's been done too, for example, the Charlton, uh, obviously the most famous, most notable such conversion, but one would think that straight pull rifles would make an ideal base for a conversion like this, and here you go, here's a really good example. Uh, they did also put on a pistol grip. This is because the reason that there's a pistol grip is you have to have this receiver long enough to hold the entire bolt, because what they've done is they've added a block here that holds the back of the bolt and it's connected to the gas piston and a recoil spring. Now you have to have some sort of track for the bolt to slide in. On, on a standard straight pull rifle, you don't really because you've got a person manually controlling the bolt and if it's a little sloppy and, and wiggly when it's fully open, doesn't really matter. On this, because it's part of a fast acting mechanical system, you want this bolt to be fully controlled in its entire range of travel. So, you add an extension to the back of the receiver with a buffer at the end of travel, and that requires that the stock get longer, and if you were to try and do a, a standard, um, standard straight stock, you'd have a trigger back here. Well, it's a lot simpler to do this conversion if you leave the trigger unmolested, just leave the trigger, act, trigger mechanism alone. So, to do that, you put a pistol grip in the appropriate location to use the trigger. I'll tell you what, this thing actually handles really well. This feels really good in the hand. That just works. Now, unfortunately, the recoil spring in this and the action is really stiff and sticky, so I can't really do much to, uh, to demonstrate it for you. However, you can pretty clearly see how it works. Gas has been tapped right here at the front of the barrel. Got an op rod down here connecting to this block on the bolt. And that's all there is to it. Really quite clever. Um, this is almost the sort of thing that a home gunsmith could do themselves if they had, say, a cheap Steyr M95, which we have a lot of in the US, and some uh, interest in tinkering and some time to work. I bet this would not be that difficult of a project to make, and it would be really cool to see someone else come up with a functional example of one of these. Well, let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of the details. Uh, give you guys a hand if you do want to take this on as a project. All right, so here's the working bit. You know, this is a completely unmodified Steyr M95 action. Uh, nothing's been changed there. However, you can see this block right here has been added to hold on to the bolt. See how it comes back there. And then there's a track, a groove in between this receiver extension and the wood stock. And that gives this block a place to travel. We have the trigger mechanism right there. There's also going to be a catch up here for the trigger. This would originally have been the disassembly catch. And in fact, you can see where they've cut the end of the receiver right here. That circular screw hole used to be the rear tang screw on the receiver. So that has been added to. Now this, I suspect, has a very heavy stiff spring in it to act as a recoil buffer for the any impact you have from the end of travel of the bolt. See, we have a return spring on the gas piston there, and this just taps gas right off the front of the barrel. Standard Austrian sights, 
And in fact, we've still got OEWG, Steyr, and even an Austrian right there, military acceptance mark. Takes standard five round M95 clips. Just based on all the other evidence, I would assume that this is still an eight by 56 rimmed. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We, this is something I've actually seen pictures of a design like this and this is something that I've had gunsmith buddies kind of banter about as a potential project idea. We always thought, you know, it's really don't think it would be that difficult and here you go. Here's an in the flesh live working example. You know, I suspect this probably was done by Beretta or someone in Italy because this does have an Italian style uh, rear sling attachment. Anyway, I would like to thank Beretta for their generosity in letting me take a look at this and some of their other reference collection guns. And if you like this sort of content, please consider checking out my Patreon account. That's a large part of what allows me to travel to places like uh, beautiful northern Italy to take a look at these sorts of guns. Thanks for watching.